Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day, bringing you my Tinker's Construct Mod Spotlight, specifically for Minecraft 1.18. So I'm going to be using the All the Mods 7 mod pack for this tutorial. Today what we're going to be working on is uh, how to make a smeltery. So I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory uh, ready for today's episode. Uh, we have the stuff that we made in the previous episode, the smeltery controller and the seared fuel tank with lava in it. Some of the drains, uh, the casting table, and the casting basin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a couple of items that are new, the seared drain, which uh, for this example, we're going to make three of these dudes. So let me make these real quick. Three drains for three faucets. I'm going to move this guy off to the side. We're also going to make... Let's make two more. Two more of the casting tables. And then uh, what we need to make is going to be the basic material, which are the seared bricks. We'll turn most of these guys into seared bricks. Uh, and just to make the thing look a little bit fancier, we're going to turn some of them into seared glass so we can see through it. Same thing, but uh, also requires glass. So we're going to make at least 13 of the seared glass. And let's turn the rest of these dudes that we have into seared bricks. And let me grab these two molds that we made last time as well. We can put these into the new chest that we're going to work on outside. So over here, I already dug out a hole. This hole is a six by three. You can make these smelteries in whatever dimension you want. You can even make it only one block and then uh, build around it, but then it will only be able to smelt one block at a time. So every single hollow block inside is how many uh, pieces, individual pieces you can smelt. Uh, so let's go ahead and put down the base level. I like to put it in the ground, and then what we need to do is build the walls. So we're going to put this out here, here, right this way, and cross. So it looks like we need one more of the seared uh, bricks. Let me make that real quick. All right, so we have some more seared bricks to work with. We can complete the design that we have over here. So this is one completed level right here. The corners don't matter as long as you have the base put down. Uh, so the smeltery, once it is completed, it registers all of the empty block spaces in between as slots that can smelt items at the same time. So ores and dusts, for example. So for every layer that we complete, uh, we can pretty much double how many ores uh, and such that we can smelt at the same time. For the second level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the important ones, which are the, the fuel tank and the smeltery controller. These dudes uh, are what form the multi-block. Uh, let's see, let's put the smeltery controller here for easy access. Let's put the tank here for easy access. And let me use uh, three of these seared drains and let's see do i have to point them this way no it points the opposite direction this is a, a an aesthetic choice really i just prefer them to be uh facing inside to me it looks like this is the output so i put the seared drains here and uh, now we just need to complete the row uh this level here for the count so let's grab our seared glass that we made, put one here, three here, there we go, one here, one here, and three. And this is one completed layer, and now the smeltery controller uh, activates the entire smeltery. So what's super important is the smeltery controller and the uh, fuel tank they have to be set inside of a completed row. If you had them uh, one up and the row wasn't complete, it would not register as a fully functional unit. And of course, uh, uh, all of these pieces are 
interchangeable. It is more of a modular multi-block. You can build it however design that you like. I just prefer to build it this way so that we can put our casting basins all in the front like this. And we could have put our faucets on the front like that. I like that a lot. I'm probably going to change this design around a little bit before I uh, settle on a final design. Uh, to automate this dude, it's a little bit easier in 1.18. What we can do is we can put down a chest here, and then we can feed hoppers under into each other. As long as the casting basins or the casting tables are on top of the hoppers, they all feed into this one chest. So let me go ahead and toss in a gold ingot for right now. This guy can smelt down. We can make another gold cast out of a brick. And if we pour the uh, the gold onto the brick, it will make us uh, our ingot cast. So that will harden. It'll destroy the brick. Now we have an ingot cast. We can toss in, let's do a stack of iron dust. We can let this smelt into molten iron for us which we could leave inside the smeltery. We could cast them all out into uh, the different things that we need. So let's see, repair kit, pickaxe head we did last time, but we could right click and it'll cast out a repair kit for us. We could right click and it can cast out uh, ingots for us and it'll all go down in here. Of course, now that we upgraded to iron, we have to upgrade our uh, our pickaxes with iron repair kits. So this is a much easier way of uh, automating repair kits if you wanted to. Okay, so one thing that I really do enjoy about uh, 1.18 Tinker's Construct is that they have included seared ladders, uh, which is a simple recipe. It's just se seared bricks on top of uh, uh, the block form of seared bricks. Gives you four of them. So let's make one of these guys real quick. This makes it really easy for us to uh, uh, climb on top of the, the smeltery while working on it. So let's turn some of these guys into bricks. We'll make a third layer. And as you can see, I've already changed my mind on uh, how to make the smeltery design. I turned it so that the smeltery controller is facing here. And now we have a fourth drain. Uh, that can cast into a seared basin if we want to cast out blocks. And I put the seared fuel tank on the back over here. So it is completely modular. The uh, ladders, let's go ahead and make them right here in the back so it's a little bit further away. That lets us get up here easy. Uh, let's go ahead and complete a third row. Or should I say a fourth row if you're considering the bottom. Let's go ahead and make the corners look nice like this and fill in the rest of it with the glass that we made. Let's see if this looks nice. So, and let me see one more thing. Yep, that blocks the ladder. So we'll have to get rid of this guy and we'll have to put another one of our uh, ladders down like that to be able to get to the top. There we go. And as long as you don't destroy the uh, smeltery controller, it will uh, hold the uh, ingots or whatever you've smelted inside while working on the unit. If you destroy the smeltery controller, you'll lose all of uh, everything that is molten inside. Like I just did with all of my iron that I put in there. Uh, I believe this blood that's in here came from maybe a fly or a bee flew in there right when I completed it. But... Uh, yeah, now we have a completed smeltery, and uh, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. The hoppers is one way to automate uh, pulling the product out. We also can put levers in place, like so. And if we right-click the lever, it will auto-add uh, the seared faucets. It'll give it redstone so that it will uh, pump out all of our stuff. So let's drop in some more of my iron that I have. We got zinc. Let's go ahead and do zinc since uh, eventually we're going to get into create and drop off a bunch of zinc. Let this guy smelt. 
And uh, as long as we have one of these levers on, we have to click on whichever one we want to work with. So clicking it moves it to the bottom. All the bottom fluid is the one that will pour out first. You'll be able to see in uh, the drains, it'll be the color of the fluid. So to cast out all of that zinc dust into uh, zinc ingots, we can turn on just the ingots. This will give the seared faucet a redstone signal. It'll keep casting it out when it uh, hardens. The hopper will put it into the chest for us. This is a great way. Also, if we pay attention to how much we have here. So six blocks, four ingots. If we cast out four more ingots, we'd be able to attach a, uh, a seared faucet over here with another lever. And we could cast them all out as blocks. That'll do nine at a time. Uh, the only bummer is if you cast out less than nine ingots into the seared casting basin, it will just sit there until you uh, cap it off. Uh, and and sometimes I, I cast in a couple of nuggets, so I'd have to destroy the seared casting basin. It's kind of a kind of a bummer to lose lose stuff that way. And to finish off the episode, uh, let me talk about one of my favorite blocks to work with. It's Tinker's Clear Glass. So now that we have the smeltery up and running, uh, we'll be able to put in sand and we can let it smelt down, which turns it into molten glass. And then since, of course, there's nothing else in here, we can turn on uh, the two button machine switch from gauges and switches. It just looks like a better lever to me. Turn this guy on and it will start uh, filling up the seared casting basin with the molten glass. When it hardens, it turns into the Tinker's clear glass. And of course, like I showed you guys, it travels along the bottom, the hoppers in here. And what's great about the Tinker's clear glass is that when you put the, the clear glass next to itself, it has connected textures. So it turns into one block that you can see through. It doesn't give you the Minecraft uh, little jaggy lines on the glass. You can see right through it. And this is absolutely one of my favorite blocks to work with. I make all of my windows out of this material. The only bummer is that in 1.18, uh, this glass breaks. And in previous versions, when you smelt it out uh, or cast it out as Tinker's Clear Glass, uh, we could pick this up without Silk Touch, which that is kind of a bummer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.